Hello and welcome to The Builder's Bench, where we break down common issues with today's automatic transmissions. I'm Alex Crissy, editor of Transmission Digest, and with me here is Reno Partipillo from ATSG, who's our technical expert for this video series. Thanks for having me out again, Alex. Yeah, of course. Uh, today's topic is going to be the ZF8HP family of transmissions. Uh, Reno's got a particular story to tell of one that came into a shop recently. That's right, Alex. We're going to talk about the ZF8HP transmission that ends up having a bind up in reverse, but this is actually after a rebuild. There are three sets of clutches that come on when we put this transmission in reverse. The A, the B, and the D clutch. But when this was put into reverse, it actually felt like something else was coming on. Now, the transmission or the vehicle did not come in with this problem, so we know it's something that we created when we built this thing. One thing the tech did was when he built this thing, he saw that there was this small little engrooved hole on the center of the case right before the valve body bolts up to. And he did, decided to go ahead and put an O-ring on there because we're always used to when there's a little engrooved, a groove like that, an O-ring would sit. Mm -hmm. But he didn't remember if he took one out, but as he decided to put one in. Now, Taking a look at all the information that we have and also to our ATSG assembly book, there is no mention of an O-ring going over there. So we decided to tell them, remove the O-ring and let's see what happens just in case. Well, he removed the O-ring, put, put the valve body back on, put the thing back together, and guess what? He now had reverse. <laughs> yes, well, okay. he now had reverse. Yeah. So why would the O-ring cause that issue? What we think is happening with this thing, with that O-ring being in place, even though it is so tiny and so small, it does not allow the valve body to sit down flush. So when the oil is feeding that D circuit to apply the reverse clutch, as you can see right over here, it is right next to the E apply channel. So what happens is since that valve body is not sitting flush with the case, oil from the D is actually going into the E clutch, which is a clutch that it's supposed to go, that is applied when it goes forward. And that's why we were getting the bind up in reverse. Yeah, got it, all right. Well, another good tip to keep in mind if you ever see this come into your shop. That's gonna do it for today's episode of The Builder's Bench. Tune in again next time for more transmission technical tips. And thanks for watching.